Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We start this update at the western end of the nave, near the model of Liverpool docks. Here is a group of four sculptures which, at the Great Exhibition were all by Baron Carlo Marachetti. Unfortunately we have been unable to locate these four Marachetti pieces, and assume they are lost. Similar alternate pieces are displayed here. Colossal head of a horse is here represented by Study for Equestrian Statue of Christian IX by Anne-Marie Carl Nielsen currently at the State Museum of Art in Copenhagen. To the left is a bust of Prince Albert, here represented by a work by Edward Hodges Bailey at the Victoria and Albert Museum. To the right is a bust of Arthur Wellesley, 1st Duke of Wellington, by John Francis, at the National Portrait Gallery. At the lower front is a bust of Sir Robert Peel by Matthew Noble also at the National Portrait Gallery. Moving east along the nave we return to the Harriet Ross Stone Cross, which we first met in video number 12 of this series. Since then we have located an illustration of the Old Testament side of the cross, which shows images of Moses and the brazen serpent, the translation of Elijah, Noah entering the ark, and Abel's sacrifice. Below these are the busts of prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel and Daniel. Behind the cross we can see a large spandrel for Hereford Cathedral which was in the process of being renovated at the time of the Great Exhibition. This spandrel remains in the cathedral to this day. Below this is the altar front for St. Mary's Church in Greenwich. This is assumed lost, as St. Mary's Church was dismantled between 1935 to 1936. The site of the church, at the northwest corner of Greenwich Park, is now marked by a statue of William IV. On the other side of the dividing panel at the back of the spandrel is a large gilded mirror and dressing table by Maclean. The original shown at the Great Exhibition was covered in intricate carving. This piece was intended to demonstrate what could be achieved by machine carving. Traveling into the eastern nave we encounter what was regarded as one of the highlights of the Great Exhibition, Amazon and Tiger, by German sculptor August Kiss. This was a copy of the piece which still stands today outside the Alters Museum in Berlin. Traveling further east along the nave we encounter two statues of the theme, Horse with Handler. The two statues here are not the actual ones at the Great Exhibition, but are very similar. The piece on the south side of the nave is one of the Horses of Marley, now kept at the Louvre Museum. The piece on the north side is a statue outside the Upper Belvedere in Vienna. And finally for this update, slightly further to the east, on the south side of the nave outside the Sweden and Norway section is Shepherd Sitting on a Rock by Johann Peter Morlin, currently at the National Museum in Stockholm. Join me for next week's video, where we start to populate the Canadian section of the exhibition.